All right, this is the Baron. Welcome to round three of the Urborg series. I've shown you this deck plenty of times. If you want to see the rundown, go to match one. We're going to get right on to checking out my opponent's deck. He has run some heavy aggro goblins here. So he's running the Goblins of the Flog, the Goblin Balloon Brigade, coming in in the air, little 1-1 one -one bastards. He's running these guys, Goblin Artisans. To draw him a card here and there, get a little bit of advantage. Of course, you got the heavy hitter, Goblin Grenade, along with some other red burn. I'm talking lightning bolts and the chain lightning rolling in through here, too. So, a lot of scary red stuff coming my way. He's also got some quick damage of black vices, and to help that damage get along, he's got draw seven effects like Wheel of Fortune. He's also got a little surprise in here, he's running blue. So, he's also the time twister to fill up your hand for vice damage and his own to throw more damage at you. Since he's got blue, he's running the big blue. Time walk and it says to recall. And he keeps it going with the power. He's running the Lotus, of course, and the five moxes, I believe. Uh, maybe just the two or three moxes, not really sure. So, there's also some black in this deck uh, with part of the black power, the Demonic Tutor. So overall, this is the main gist of what we're looking at here. Fast and Furious, uh, Goblin Red, with a little bit of blue and black support. Overall, I think I'm actually pretty well suited to go up against this deck. I'm running so many removal spells, plus the playset of Rod of Ruins. So, let's see how this round three goes. All right, round three, starting up right now. Throwing up our hands, getting this going. Life's on the board, and uh, for the first time ever, I'm showing you cards in hand also. Something I thought you'd appreciate. You know, I appreciate it. Turn one scepter for me. That is what I want to do. Oh, and strip mine off the bat. Okay, no end. Let's see what happens. Back to me, I draw. And I got land, that's good. <laughs> Be a shame if all I had was that factor, uh, workshop, right? And uh, do land for him into a black vice. Taking damage already. It's okay, it's not as bad as I could turn one vice. Or wait, was it turn one vice? No, okay. And, uh, boom, already making you discard. That's what I want to do. Keep it rolling. Man, this deck's very consistent with that, uh, oh, Ancestor Recall. It, anyway, the deck's very consistent with making, you know, those Scepters do work. But right there, that Recall undoes a lot of what that Scepter's supposed to be doing. And, uh, he's got a Lotus on the field. Let's see if he's cracking it. Yeah, okay. That's three mana, three red. Uh, two Goblins. Goblins on a Flarg. Goblin Artisans, and uh, taking the damage off that City of Brass to cast that Tutor. So, yikes. That's a pretty explosive uh, I'll call it a start uh, on that end. You know, coming off of me uh, getting turn one Scepter and to really bounce into the game. And boom. There's another uh, workshop for me and a Mox. Get myself out of Big Book. Have him discard. That uh, Carvange off that Ancestral is down to one now. So, making it work. And uh, coming in for two with the Goblins. Can't do anything about that. I'm tapped out. So I'm down to 17. And, uh, is it my turn now? Oh, yeah, I guess it's, uh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, it was him. Okay, decided to play out this Chaos Orb. And it says, uh, no, you're not allowed to have that book. Does it land? Yeah, it does. Okay. Book's gone. I ain't crying. I'm running four in here. And, uh,. Get myself some more mana on the board. Sticking with the uh, discard here. That now has somewhat nullified that draw three. Coming in with those goblins still. Man, they came out fast and uh, early. So, I mean, I could pull a wrath and just clear the two of them, or yeah, a rod of ruin will get rid of them, actually. So, I'm not too worried. I'm at 15, he's at 18. I got plenty of time. Felwar Stone. Oh, I love him. And have him discard another one. That's five tards discard total now. Ooh, wheel. Okay, on the way out, I break the, uh, the thing. The vice. And then we're drawing seven each. Okay. So I went from zero cards to a full seven. I think he also has zero cards in his hand. I think we both got a full seven out of that. Uh, but now that black vice is going to hit me for a full three. Unless I got something to do during the upkeep. 
but um man yeah taking it all okay go to my draw step and uh plane out mish's factory which is boom that that right there solves my goblin problems playing a play set of those also in here a lot of stuff i could have draw to stop these guys and ooh, there it is rod of ruin okay so looking a little grim for him right now he's got a lot of answers for what he's got in the field uh, even my hand size is doing fine for that black vice. So, nice, nice, nice. And right off the bat, I say discard. So, down to four cards in hand. Uh, now back at the five. Let's see what's going to happen. A lot of damage is going to be taken from those uh, cities, I was going to say. Now, he's got some more uh, mana sources, and I don't think his uh, mana gets too intensive in that deck. So, two is probably enough. And just having those City of Brasses for black. Oh, okay, he's gambling his black vice with his Goblin Artisans. So, if the flip or roll is in his favor, uh, his spell resolves and he draws a card. And if he loses, uh, the card is countered or discarded or, uh, or destroyed. Uh, I'm not sure. But, um, and there I was asking, can I kill him in response? He's like, no, bro, it's not a stack. So, like, okay. Um... And so he lost the roll, so the vice got discarded. Comes in with the attack, I activate the factory, tap the factory for the mana to uh, ping that guy out of my way. So, plays a Goblin Balloon Brigade. That's still not uh, good enough, you know. <laughs> Rod is still going to get you. I don't really need that factory. And you know what, I can always draw another one. I don't even know if I'd waste a plow on a Goblin unless I was getting really desperate. Uh, okay, discard again. I think he discarded already, he was really fast. Okay, yeah. And four mana, ooh, disc. I don't think I'll be activating that disc anytime soon, but I'm hoping to turn to a 4-4 four, four, uh, creature. Alright, gambling a Mox Ruby on the Artisans, and he loses this roll also, so right to the trash bin. Comes in, I ping it with the Rod of uh, Ruin, and goes my turn. A second Rod of Ruin. Alright, you can even play a Goblin King now, which I don't think you are. Uh, and I got answers for it. I got plenty of mana to use these rods. There's four to cast, three to activate. Oh, and there's the big freaking uh, song. And that's a big swing coming in. He blocks a four forward as one one, and he's still taking ten damage. Yikes. That is what we want to be doing. Yeah, I mean, usually I'd want it to be a little clearer than that. And he draws, and then just goes right to scooping. And uh, here's the stat breakdown, a new feature I've been adding in here. Let me know if you like it or if it's in the way. But uh, total cards drawn both sides, total cards discarded. I got him at seven cards discarded that game. And I gained one life over the course of the match. Him, nothing. And remember, those seven cards for me is from his wheel. Uh, so let's uh, sideboard up and go into game number two. All right, we are all sideboarded up, and we are getting right into game number two. My hand looks like this. I got a forest, a disc, a plains, three sorts of plowshares, and a soul ring. So, not a terrible start. And here we have three strip mines. Uh, Black Vice, Goblin Balloon Brigade, Chain Lightning, and the Energy Flux. Must be from the sideboard. Okay, uh, he's on the play. Strip mine, Black Vice, I think we saw that coming. And. Here we go to me, taking three damage from that vice and dropping my soul ring. Another play we could have predicted. And here we are, he drew into a taiga and dropped that balloon brigade from his hand. Still taking vice damage here, down to 15. Drop my forest and pass back to him. There's his uh, third strip mine, or second strip mine? Yeah, we're only up to two so far. <laughs> Still got another one in his hand. Uh, luckily for me, I drew that planes, and he strips it out. That's his third. Okay. So let's, uh, see if I drew any more land, or if this game is over. No, okay, I did. I drew into Savannah. That's great news. Uh, and he drew his fourth strip mine. Can you believe that? Okay. I plow that goblin on the way out as he takes that mine from me. Chain Lightning needs to be down to six life already. What a fast and furious game this is. All right, I dropped that factory. That could stop a goblin or two. But that vice is still ticking away at me. I'm down to four. Drop a disc. 
and City of Brass for him. He pays a life to get that blue, dropping the uh, energy flux. So, kind of gives me no choice here. And I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Am I going to try to keep something alive? And I decide, no, I have to blow it up. I got to make this happen. So, boom goes the world here. And uh, here we are. Coming in for three, I finally did some damage. Another goblin on his end, another black vice. I'm safe at four cards though. And I'll just drop the five. So I need to get something on my hand. Oh, and I didn't. Danger. Oh, and a lightning bolt brings me down to one life. Okay, I have divine offering that black vice. Drops back down to four cards safely. And I'm at two. So that's a dangerous place to be against Tolis Red Burn, but let's see how I can make this happen. He draws for his turn. And what's he gonna do? Ooh, a time walk. Okay. I'm not sure what he's trying to dig for me. It's just to get extra draw or something. Oh, time twister. Did he have it? Okay, I know I out with a twister. I plowed that goblin. Uh don't know if he had that twister, he draw into it. And here's the effect of that twister. Uh, I discard three cards, he discarded one. We both draw a full hand of seven, of course. And wow, what a game so far. We're both gonna have a full grip coming out of this. And I am on the ropes here at two life. He's still sitting pretty at 17. So I'm gonna need a nice hand. <laughs> Come on, be nice to me. And uh, this is his second turn. So, okay, he drops a land and a chain lightning. I activate my factory to plow it. Oh, and I don't have it. I threw it away, I think, in my old hand. Ah, um, I remember seeing that plow, and I'm like, okay, here's my backup plan. But no, it was already in the discard. So, there we go. Game number two goes to my opponent. Here's the final rundown of stats for it. Time Twister got rid of three cards for me, one from him. We both threw seven. No extra draw or discard in that game. I gained one life of a divine offering. He gained two off plowing. And uh, he took that turn with a time walk. All right. Back to the sideboards. And then into game number three. All right. Welcome back. This is round number three. Uh, I'm actually taking a mulligan here. Gonna go down to six. Here's his hand. We got a Demonic Tutor, a Badlands, a Black Vice, Ancestor Recall, those Goblin Tinker Bastards, Lotus, and a Goblins of the Flar. Wow, okay. be pretty explosive. Uh, here I am drawing up my second hand. And we can see it. I actually don't think I share it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, picking what to send back. It's going to be that guy. So I'm starting with six cards and drop the planes and pass turn. On to my opponent. Let's see what's happening. There's that Lotus we saw and the Badlands. Where are we going from there? Cracking it for blue. Ancestor recalls me in three cards. Puts him the eight in hand. And black vice. Okay. Well, I'm at five cards, so vice is not too scary. And ooh, one of those floating blue and a black for a demonic tutor on his side. Yikes. That is a hell of a first turn, you know, for game three. This is not what you want to see happening, but that's fine. Uh, draw up. I got both color mana that I need, green and uh, white. So that's not bad. And drop a third mana source, Mox Ruby, into a Felwar Stone. So I am sitting pretty good with mana. Uh, drops another dual land, volcanic, into a Goblins of the Flarg, and these Goblin uh, Artisans, I think they are, or Tinkers, I forgot what they're called already. Oh well. Here I am tapping four for a disc. Alright. Coming in to hit me for two. Dropping a 17. Playing a strip mine. And he chain light needs to be down to 14. Passes to me. Here we go. What are we gonna see? That's uh four man available. Pretty much do anything I need to do in this deck, except I'm off a second white from a Wrath of God. And he's stripping me out of white here. So on the way out, I tap it and I divine offer that black vice right to the gods, getting me a life back to 15. 
And uh, he smacks for two, bring me to 13 before passing back to me. And what am I going to do? I'm down to three mana, no white. I pass turn. Get into my turn, he lightning bolts me. Yikes. Then another two puts me on an eight life. Okay. My turn again. End of my turn, he uh, bolts me again. Down to five. Comes in. I crack the disc. Should have used that ruby to crack the disc, but oh well. And oh man, look what he was holding back. Three goblins of the flarg. Brings me out of two. And I draw, and that's it. What a fast and brutal game number three that was. Wow. So this was actually the last round I was able to participate in in this tournament. And next week, I'll bring to you one of the rounds of the final four. As always, thank you for the support. If you like what you're seeing, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to go the extra mile, visit me my Patreon. This is Baron Nick, and I'm done here.